You ready? I'm ready. Oh my yeah. god, let's go. Is this the infamous house? Yes, it is. Oh, like, the graphics are like so beautiful. Yes. Okay. Beyonce. <laughs> My name is Tima Likes Music and I am a producer slash songwriter. My mom is like heavily, heavily into R&B. Like she used to sing and she was obsessed. My dad was heavy into jazz. So that was just always playing no matter where we were. And especially with um, coming to Brooklyn, R&B, barbecues, all that stuff was, that definitely influences me. The whole black familial experience. That like, oh, like the moment the first chord starts where you just kind of feel tingles all over. So that definitely shaped the kind of music that I make. Oh, wait, hold on. It's super perfect. Like honestly, and I was worried because you're used to kind of like, you know, the black keys up here and up here, but it's like, it's nothing. And I like to do like very arpeggiated stuff, super like complicated melodies. And it like, it's like my hand just like, yeah. it's almost easier than an actual piano. My setup, I call it somewhat hybrid. Um, I work with um, Omnisphere. I use like, you know, a couple plugins. Um, and then I also do direct analog, especially with keyboard sounds. I use my Roland Juno DS. I have a micro Korg. Um, I have a talk box. And for my MIDI, I have, I'm obsessed. I have like three separate ones and they all have different functions. No! Okay, uh, okay, I'm, I'm okay. Listen, my eyebrows are itching. I'm, I'm going through a crisis right now. I was nervous because I'm a keyboard player and I'm like, I, this isn't set up like a keyboard. I don't know where C is or whatever, but the language is so clear that I didn't even need to know. Like I, especially with like, I don't even know what this patch is, but the squares, let me tell you about the squares. Hold on. It was so, so fluid. And that's the number one thing that's hard with music is you want to record music as fast as you can think it. And when you have new gear, it sucks because sometimes it takes a while for it to be like head to hands, head to hands. But literally, I kid you not, it was head to hands with this. And I just saw this like for the first time today. It's like super fluid, the vibrato. I was telling him before that when I was trying to hit vibrato or pitch bend, my hand kept going here because I was looking for the pitch bend because I'm just so used to it. But to just go like this, and I used a lot of vibrato in like my leads was so easy and it was so expressive. It's usually I have to go like this, which is like, it shakes the keyboard, it's crazy. Whereas this, I literally, the note I'm playing, I can be as slow and as fast as I want to be. This, this is up there with the Sistine Chapel. This is, this is everything I needed. This is crazy. It's very good if you want to do like melodic things. Oftentimes, especially if you're not a keyboard player, you can be tripped up by the black keys, the black keys being higher and the white keys being like lower and you have to maneuver your hands and you're tripping over your fingers. Whereas everything is the same level and the sensitivity is super, super strong that like, you could just glide over. There were times where I was even tripping over myself because I thought I had to work harder, but my hands don't have to work as hard because it's just, it's just here. I could totally seeing it be my like my pullout, and when I have like a quick idea, really quickly, just writing it down. For my setup, this is gonna be all my emotive stuff. You know what I mean? It's that's the hardest thing to capture is emotion. I don't think I've ever played something that could achieve it like this. It was completely immersive. 
it makes it so easy for you to like know exactly what you're playing. Even if you don't know, just like the, it just set, it works with the psychology of like your ear. You know what I mean? Like I don't know what note I'm playing, but I know maybe I need to go a half step down to this square or a half step up to this square. Oh, I was playing on chromatic, which means that it was, it didn't even set the key for me. So I can only imagine if you're not a key player or if you don't know your scales or you know, you just wanna get it in the key. You can jam on this and not even really know how to like play anything. This seems like something that's super easy, even if you're not a musician. You know what I mean? Like, but also it's fun if you're a musician. It's a new way to look at music. You're used to the usual layout of, you know, three keys or, you know, the bass clef or the, the treble clef. But this is like fun. It makes me feel like a kid again and I'm relearning piano. My name is Tima Likes Music. If you want to learn more about me, you can find me on all things at Tima Likes Music. And if you want to learn more about the E-Ray Touch, go to embodme.com.